the Peloton Bike Plus. I'm going to show you how to connect Ethernet or a wired connection for your Peloton. This way you don't get as much juddering or buffering on the video or the music when you're actually in your workout. This is a great feature. I'm glad Peloton built it in or thought of it. And why wouldn't we take advantage of it? So we're going to get an extra long Ethernet cord and I'm going to show you how this thing pieces together. So first of all, we start with the couple of different connections that we have here on the back. So I'm going to zoom in real quick and show you. So you see these three ports here. There is one for audio, which goes to your 3.5 millimeter output jack on the front of the bike back here on the handlebar. Then you've got the video connection that connects your bike to the iPad or actually the tablet that this is made out of. And then lastly, down here, there's an extra USB-C port. And that's great because what that's gonna allow us to do is connect an ethernet cord. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get an ethernet cord and a cat 5e or you know any other kind of ethernet cable is probably going to do just fine peloton's not a particularly intensive resource hog so we can just use uh, any old cable for that so i want to get one that's long enough and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to get one of these guys so i'll zoom out for just a second this is an ethernet adapter you can see i've already got it connected and it's got a usb-c port on the end so all i'm going to do is plug that in right here and away we go. So that's it in a nutshell. So when it gets plugged in, you're gonna notice that it's kind of, uh, you know, it's gonna be in there nice and snug. And again, you've got your audio, your video, and then your ethernet cord. Okay, once we're confident this is working well, we're gonna go ahead and hit the dot, 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 go into here, and we're gonna find our device settings. So we're gonna go into our device settings, and we're gonna get a couple different things in here. But mainly, we're going to get our network and internet settings. So hit there. And then what we want to do is we want to actually go into Wi-Fi. And I've already got mine turned off. But we're going to, going to want to go to in Wi-Fi and turn this off right there. Okay. So we're going to do that to avoid any conflicts with the network and make sure that we're using what we should. So once you're done with that, you hit the back button there. And then we're going to go into the Ethernet. So hit Ethernet and just click the on in the top corner over here and then let it select DHCP, which will dynamically assign an a IP address from your router and that will put you on the path. So once that actually works, you'll see down here in the corner, you're gonna have a little icon there that says that you're connected to ethernet. That's great, that's what we want. Um, and that's it. So once you're done with that, you can exit out and exit out and exit out and go back to the main screen and you are ready to ride. All right, sounds great. Thanks you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications and I'll see you next time.